We are told that about eight lives have been lost. I mean, lives in buildings to go where's happening. Something is around. And Jinx is the care of what you're doing and people. With you. He's well read about some, some mm -hmm. new. You know, just my head. They have his head. Yeah, he's, he's in the bounces. Where is up? And they need a massively borrowed. But I went charges for him entirely. But you and I, uh, <laughs> Professor Solid, that tell him and thing. Uh, Professor Solid. Well, telling you because you want to buy let go to this. We get some charge. Exactly. You said, I mean, is this. I mean, for instance, I started saying that at some point. Yeah. And I've said it forces women what happened. If then the issue that's a reflection of the reactances of yeah. uh, if you are going to produce it to for a low bank to be operating well. Exactly. And then show up the rate to a percentage that will be commensurate with the reality of their circumstance, quote and unquote. Yes. Yeah. You, know? you, you you were a bit late last week when I when I told the story about somebody who wanted to borrow some money and he was told that he had to have the equi equivalent no, he had to have 150% of the amount he was asking for in his account <laughs> before the bank would lend him the money. I mean, if he had that kind of why money, would why would he want to borrow your money? It's I mean, about creativity. Okay. These, these banks, they, they're, they're not helping our economy at all. And I believe that the regulatory bodies should actually, you know, look sharp. And the question somebody asked look me sharp. in the course of the week was that, now, if these banks come up with hidden charges, as many people have anticipated that they will, <laughs> if they come up with it, the CBN can say, we're alive to our responsibilities, we will make sure that doesn't happen. And the person asks me, right now they're already having hidden charges. The CBN is not aware. What's the assurance that the CBN will be able to stop them you know, well, later on? <clears throat> chance you have to take. So, Chance you have to take. I suppose when you go to them and you say, but the CBN said this. So, well, you go and borrow from the CBN then. That's what they usually say. <laughs> <laughs> so they got you there. They no, got you there. Well, no. some people just need to be alive to their responsibilities and protect the poor consumer. Yes. Now, what's our economy doing if nobody's lending anybody money? How can businesses grow? And if businesses don't grow, how does the sector move on? move ahead and now the way I think the vision 2020 we just have 13 years it's a big question mark my family 13 years to go big question mark and uh, the civil defense um, core there's this uh, controversy raging on you know they want to be armed they want arms and ammunition to be provided because according to them the nature of their duties you know, are such that they're exposed to danger and they need to protect themselves. You know, but there are two sides to the argument. There are those who are saying, look, this will lead to further uh, exacerbation of the proliferation of harms that we really mm -hmm. have in society. Mm -hmm. And there are those who have said, look, because these guys, their job is complementary to the Nigerian police, we should, you know, provide arms and ammunition for them. You know, but um, I think um, the lawmakers will be the ultimate decider of the the fate of the core, you know. The next that thing, that. vigilantes will be asking to carry arms. They will be. Security, com com security companies will ask to carry exactly. arms. Exactly. And in a nation where we, we, we don't even, we're not even sure if um, we know who is a civil defense core because, I mean, s some persons in a nation where people sell police uniforms and rob people on the street, some person can just go in there and say he's a civil defense core member. You know, so uh, the argument is neither here nor there, as mm. we say, but I think we should look closely into this. Uh, we should not just say because they're exposed to danger and then we should just uh, provide arms to them. Mm. Um, the, the supervision of the Civil Defense Corps is still is in the embryonic stage. It is, it is, and yeah. We need to be very, very careful, you know, the way we make uh, arms available to them. The Nigerian police already is having problem. You know, with some of his members, yeah. who, yeah. who are alleged to be giving out their arms or using their arms for shady business. Shady, you said business. <laughs> <laughs> purposes, I wanted to say. You know, they say purpose. You mm. Know. Mm. And then in the course of the week as well, we heard about the fire department, and I was scandalized when I heard that the risk allowance was 10 naira. Hmm. In 2009, and I am told, I mean, we were, we were told that that allowance has been there forever. I didn't want to interrupt you, and it's a good thing you mentioned it. Several prostitutes of government and agencies, mm. you know, some laws they were made as far back as 1979. And they still remain, they the, still same. remain the same in the book. 
I understand that the police allowance, you know, what you get paid if you die in the course of duty, mm. has not been changed since when it was in the 80s. I don't know how true that is, but when I heard that, I mm. felt I felt scandalized. Yeah, you know yeah. that. I mean, if uh, the lawmakers and the senators can come up every year and say, considering economic reality, yes, we have yes. to shore up our allowances. I think those should be the areas they should touch first. And it's not limited to the fire department alone, the police uh, department, mm -hmm. and other government agencies. And it, sure. you know, sure. and they, they just didn't touch this law because mm. they said that well, we have to review the constitution before we can address those ones. Yes. So the, the fire service is now in, 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 in much more in focus because we're having more incidents of fire. Mm -hmm. And all these things are coming out that the trucks are 25 years old, uh, but some of them are not functioning properly. So if we want them to respond when we call them when there is a fire, We've got to look after the trucks. We've got to look after the men. Mm -hmm. And is it even out of place for the fire service to have at least five helicopters nationwide? Oh, Jesus. But we well, um, shouldn't go there because there are many times they don't even have water. When you call them for a fire emergency, they have to go and look for water before they get to the scene. Excuse me. I think Femi just forgot a second ago that he was in Nigeria. Well, I remember now. Yes, welcome. You know, he came back only last week, so he still thinks he's uh, somewhere else. He's talking about helicopters for the fire service, so that when there is a fire, they can actually go spraying water from above, right? To access, you know, places, some, there are some places in the Dumata. I mean, you remember when the fire incident took place about two years ago, somewhere in the, in the interior of Lagos Island. It was difficult for the fire service to access the location because... Wake up, family. <laughs> Wake up, I'm sure you're dreaming. I'm half awake. Wake up, you're in Nigeria. I'm coming to you. I mean, it's not that these things are not doable, mm -hmm. but, um, well, they are doable. Well, you bought me a one way ticket when you said some of those trucks are as old as 25, 30 years. And so. You haven't I, even bought new trucks. You're talking about buying helicopters. Shall we do the press, please? Thank you.